The global defense world was stunned when news broke of a remarkable achievement from South Korea, an event that sent shockwaves through military circles and defense analysts worldwide. South Korea's KF-21 Boramai fighter jet, once dismissed by skeptics as an ambitious dream, has not only become a reality, but has arrived years ahead of its original schedule. This is a feat that few thought possible, and it's rewriting the narrative of what's achievable in modern aerospace engineering. The Block II variant, equipped with a full suite of air-to-air -air and air-to-ground combat capabilities, is operational now, not in the distant future, but today. This leap forward means South Korea is fielding a jet that can compete with, and even surpass, many established fighters on the global stage. At Sacheon Air Base, the atmosphere is electric with pride and excitement. Test pilots, engineers and support crews watch as their creation soars, knowing they've built something that stands shoulder to shoulder with the world's best. Their years of dedication and innovation have paid off in spectacular fashion. The Boramai, aptly named the Young Hawk, has matured into a true aerial predator. Its agility, speed, and advanced systems are altering the balance of power in the skies, forcing other nations to take notice and rethink their own strategies. This is more than just a technical triumph. It's a seismic, geopolitical shift. The emergence of the KF-21 signals a new era in which the global military landscape is being reshaped by new players. For decades, the fighter jet market was an exclusive club, dominated by the United States, Russia, and Europe. Their aircraft set the standard, and their influence was felt in every corner of the world. But now, South Korea has shattered that monopoly. With the KF-21, they've proven that innovation and determination can break through even the most entrenched barriers. The KF-21 blends cutting-edge technology with affordability, offering nations a new path to modern air power, one that doesn't come with the heavy political strings often attached to traditional suppliers. How did South Korea leap ahead so dramatically in such a short time? The answer lies in relentless investment, a culture of private innovation, and an unwavering drive for technological independence. By fostering collaboration between government, private industry, and academia, South Korea didn't just build a jet, they built an entire aerospace ecosystem capable of supporting future breakthroughs. This ecosystem is now a powerhouse, fueling not only the KF-21, but also the next generation of aerospace advancements. The world is watching closely, especially in Manila, where the Philippine Air Force faces a generational decision. The choice they make could redefine their nation's air defense for decades to come. The Young Hawk is ready to take flight on the international stage, and the Philippines, among others, is watching with keen interest, weighing the possibilities this new era brings. The established order in military aviation has been permanently altered. The arrival of the KF-21 is a wake-up call to the world's defense industry. The KF-21's success is echoing far beyond Korea's borders, inspiring new ambitions and signaling that the future of aerial dominance is being rewritten, one flight at a time. The KF-21 was born from South Korea's need for self-reliance and defense. Long dependent on U.S. jets, Seoul set out to build a fighter more capable than regional rivals, but more affordable than the F-35. The early days were tough, technological and political hurdles, skepticism, and high costs. But South Korea pressed on, framing the project as a symbol of national pride and technological prowess. When foreign tech was unavailable, Korean companies innovated, creating world-class systems from scratch. The Zoyo Dai results uh, a fighter that's not just assembled from foreign parts, but a true product of South Korean ingenuity. The Boramai is proof that a nation can forge its own path into the elite club of fighter manufacturers. The KF-21's original development roadmap was intentionally cautious. Block 1 would focus on air-to-air -air missions, providing a solid foundation for the fighter's core capabilities. Only after several years with Block 2 was the jet expected to evolve into a true multi-role platform, capable of handling air-to-ground and advanced strike missions. But the jet's innovative and robust design, combined with cutting-edge engineering, meant that Block 2's advanced features, like precision strike, electronic warfare, and expanded weapons integration, arrived far ahead of schedule, surprising even the most optimistic planners. Thanks to state-of-the-art digital design tools and high-fidelity simulation, engineers could test, refine, and validate complex systems virtually, identifying and solving problems before a single part was built. 
This slashed years off the traditional development timeline. The result is remarkable. A fully combat-capable, multi-role fighter jet that's operational today, not years from now. It's ready to meet real-world threats and missions immediately. For export customers, this leap forward is a game-changer. They no longer have to wait for incremental upgrades or future promises. The advanced capabilities are available from day one. Competitors are left scrambling to catch up, as South Korea has effectively jumped the queue in the global fighter market, setting a new standard for rapid development and deployment. For the Republic of Korea Air Force, this means faster, stronger deterrence and a significant boost in operational flexibility, allowing them to respond to evolving threats with confidence. For buyers like the Philippines, it's not just a future promise, it's a ready-now solution, offering instant modernization and a leap in air power capability. KAI can now present a unified, compelling package to the world, offering a next-generation fighter that's proven, versatile, and available for immediate delivery. The Boramai is no longer just a project or a prototype, it's a fully realized operational reality, flying and performing at air shows, and in active service. For the Philippines, this represents a rare and transformative opportunity to modernize their air force instantly, closing the gap with regional powers and securing their skies for years to come. The Philippine Air Force is at a turning point. Its F-A-50PH jets from KAI brought supersonic capability, but they're light attack trainers, not true multi-role fighters. The Philippines needs an aircraft to patrol vast maritime zones, defend airspace and deter modern threats. The strategic environment is tense with the West Philippine Sea at the center of regional disputes. The Horizon Modernization Program calls for a fighter with range, advanced sensors, and a heavy payload, at a price the country can sustain. The KF-21's early arrival is a game-changer, a modern, affordable, multi-role jet available now. The threats are real and immediate, the solution must be too. The Boramai fits the Philippines' needs and timeline perfectly. It's a clear path to securing the nation's skies. South Korea's decision to fast-track the KF-21 Block II was both technical and strategic. The jet's overbuilt design handled new missions with ease, while merging Block I and II streamlined production and cut costs. Buyers benefit from a single unified standard, lower prices, simpler logistics, and faster delivery. Most nations want a versatile, multi-role fighter, not a specialized platform. The KF-21's early debut meets this demand, proving it's mature and reliable. For countries like the Philippines, this certainty is invaluable. South Korea isn't just keeping pace, it's setting it. The Philippines' fighter choice comes down to two, South Korea's KF-21 Boramai and Sweden's Saab Gripen E. The Gripen is efficient, affordable, and proven, but it's a single-engine, lighter jet. The KF-21 with twin engines offers greater safety, range, and payload, crucial for long maritime patrols. Its stealth-influenced design and larger radar give it a technological edge. The Boramai is built for future upgrades including internal weapons bays and enhanced sensors. For the Philippines, it's a choice between cost-effectiveness and strategic reach. The Gripen is a strong regional fighter, but the KF-21 is a generational leap, better suited for the nation's vast defense needs. The Boramai's capabilities align with the scale of Manila's challenges. The KF-21 offers the Philippines more than just performance. Its shared lineage with the FA-50PH means easier logistics, training, and maintenance. Pilots can transition smoothly, leveraging existing investments and reducing costs. The Boramai's operational expenses are projected to be low, maximizing every defense peso. KAI's roadmap promises future upgrades, stealth, AI, and more, keeping the fleet relevant for decades. The Philippines wouldn't just buy a jet, but a platform built for tomorrow's threats. The KF-21 is a smart, future-proof investment. Acquiring the KF-21 would deepen the strategic partnership between South Korea and the Philippines. This relationship, built on shared values and history, has already delivered reliable hardware to the AFP. The KF-21 would bind the two air forces for decades with training, support, and tech collaboration. South Korea's vested interest ensures ongoing support and operational effectiveness. The deal could include tech transfer and local maintenance, boosting the Philippine economy, and self-sufficiency. This partnership is about more than defense, it's national development. 
the KF-21 proposal is a comprehensive package for the Philippines' future. Imagine Basa Air Base a few years from now, the first rays of sunlight glint off the runways, illuminating a new era for Philippine aviation. KF-21 Boramai fighters, proudly bearing the insignia of the Philippine Air Force, stand ready on the tarmac. Their sleek forms represent not just advanced technology, but a leap forward in national defense. Pilots once trained on the reliable F-A-50 now command a new generation of air power. These aviators, the best and brightest, have mastered the transition to the Boramai, embracing its cutting-edge systems and capabilities. The young hawks soar confidently over the West Philippine Sea, patrolling vast stretches of ocean. With extended range and endurance, they fly farther and longer than ever before, projecting Philippine presence where it matters most. Their advanced radar systems sweep the skies, scanning for threats and providing unmatched situational awareness. Every movement in the airspace is tracked, analyzed, and relayed in real time. Any intruder is detected, tracked, and deterred before it can pose a threat. The Boramai's sensors and communication links ensure that no hostile action goes unnoticed. The Boramai's presence alone shifts the balance, signaling the Philippines' resolve to defend its skies and sovereignty. Its arrival is a message to friend and foe alike. The nation is ready. If deterrence fails, the KF-21's arsenal of precision missiles and stealth features give it a decisive edge in combat. It can strike swiftly and evade detection, ensuring the safety of both pilots and country. This is more than an upgrade. It's a transformation of the Philippine Air Force's capabilities and confidence. Every takeoff is a testament to progress and ambition. The PAF becomes a credible, respected air power in the region, able to defend its territory and support its allies. Its pilots and aircraft now stand shoulder to shoulder with the world's best. The KF-21 is a historic opportunity, advanced, aligned with national needs, and built on a proven partnership with trusted allies. It's a symbol of progress and shared vision. The early arrival of Block 2 is a chance that may not come again. It's a window to leap ahead, to secure the skies before challenges grow. For the Philippines, the Young Hawk is more than just a fighter jet. It is the key to a secure, sovereign future and a new chapter in the nation's story of resilience and pride.